morning, everybody. Jason on the farm. Okay, so here's what I'm working on. Down here at the sawtooth, everybody has pretty much told me not to burn in these sawtooths because the oak tree can't take it like a pine tree. But I'm bound and determined to uh, burn it because I think it needs it. I don't have a disc down here. I got the little straight blade. It's a road all the way around two sides and then the other two sides is water. If I can get this slicked off down to bare dirt enough, uh, I think we can light it and it'll be good. Uh, I'm thinking about doing it tonight. It's been a long time since we did a, did a night burn. Everybody, uh, I'm not even sure if it's dry enough, and I'm going to grade it up, get my fire lane, because we got young pines right there. Uh, I think it'll do fine. I think it'll be okay. They're thin enough now since we thin them, the heat will get out. I don't think we'll hurt a pine. here in the south toast cody's been wanting to burn for a while and it just hadn't hadn't worked out got pj with us it's probably about 30 45 minutes before dark cooling off wanting the wind to lay a little bit more so we're going to ease up here and try to get started got the short pines over here winds coming from the pines to the south toast so as long as it don't pack up too hard I don't think it will. I got it graded pretty good, but we got the tractor on standby. The wind ought to be just right to carry it through that. It's going to take our time like we always do and try to do a good job. I ain't even sure it'll burn. We're just we're hoping to find out. All right, we're hoping it don't get too hot. We're just going to go a little bit at the time, see what it does. All right, Cody got a little bit going. We didn't go but about 50 yards or so. Wind's trying to you can just set it right there buddy and uh the wind's trying to carry it just like we want it but we're gonna watch it and make sure it don't back across the road if it'll kind of go slow like that i believe we'll be good to go we got all night so it's not any young pines here to burn like what we've been burning all this other stuff it's just 
all these leaves and grass and the trash that we sprayed, pretty much everything, all the gums and stuff we sprayed is dead. I want to get it to where it's easier to bush hog is what I'm wanting. And I hope this wind don't slow down too much. I should have started a little bit ago. I was afraid of this, but maybe it'll creep on through there. Just gonna have to play with it a little while. If it'll ever get out in them grasses where there's more fuel, it's probably gonna do better. All right, we can lead a little bit more down this way. That's good, yeah. Like I said, if we could ever get out in that old grass, sage grass and stuff, that right there I hear it hitting some of that grass over there, it's gonna do good. Just slow, which I, I don't mind it going too slow. As long as it burns, we'll be fine. Most everybody said I was crazy. Most everybody's gonna think I'm crazy for burning in these hardwoods. I've never burned in these salters before. I've burned in some big hardwoods before. Long, many, many years ago before we decided it wasn't no good. But this right here is gonna be able to get daylight on the ground now. So if I can burn it and keep these trees alive, it'll be well, well worth it. Maybe a turkey will be out here before long. Almost wish I'd have let that right there is doing good. This right here is kind of a little more of a cross wind type. Wind's kind of going that way. That right there, Cody, just lit's doing good. If it catches that old broom sage stuff and goes, we'll be good. Main thing I want to do is kind of get this more of a backfire type done where we ain't got to worry about it. Fight it all night. I want it to get a little bit hotter than it's getting, but... I don't think it grounds too wet. I think we just messed around and waited and let the wind be too low. We're going to see what it does when it gets out in that sage grass. I'm tempted to go out there and light them piles. There's a little breeze right there. Yeah, we should have started about 45 minutes ago. This is kind of new. We won't, don't want to kill our soft toast. We're going, we won't get it figured out. Oh, it's going to take a little bit, but we're going to get it going. Walk walk through there and catch that back up right through there. It ain't going to hurt. Walk through right, right through there. We're going to get it going in a minute. There you go. That's good. Now come back over here and go to where it's burning. Get a little breeze going. We're going to be, be good. All right. Let's jump back out here. Look, when you get out there about, about where that's burning and go straight that way and watch it when you get in that tall grass, now it's fixing to go. Don't let it catch your britches on fire like I did. Go to that big tree and blow it out. Now ah, we got a little fuel right there. Good. Well, if it'll get in there and get hot enough to burn them limbs and all up, my goal is to be able to keep this thing clean and when they stumps rot, and we may have to burn it a, in a couple of years if this goes good again. And I want to be able to bush hog when I want to in between these rows and possibly plant some more clover. But we got to get it. This has been about a four or five year project now, I think. Well, tall grass is going now. Maybe we won't kill all the sawtooth. PJ's the fire dog. We 
going to really learn something here because them sawtooths is already budding. So we got another small patch of these and another big patch of them. It's three separate deals, so we'll know if we mess up. Always got to try stuff if you want to do stuff. I don't mind trying it. A lot of people won't. We ain't scared to try much around here, especially if we think it'll help. There's not a lot of fuel out there for it to catch up. It does pretty good in this tall sage grass. It may be more on out there when we get there. We're going to keep fighting it. What is burning is doing a pretty good job. A little different than burning pines for sure. That over there is coming pretty good. Come back this way just a little bit, bud. We're going to stay out there in that tall grass, try to get this thing going. Sounding good back there. All right, now go straight to that tree, big tree down there. Yep. Stay out in there a little bit where to catch up. You good. Just hang it over in there. Should be enough grass there. Yeah, we might get something going here. All right, let's watch this for a minute. Blow it out right there, bud. Blow it out right there and let's watch it for a minute. Make sure it don't back up. Here's some stuff that'll burn. We may have to do just a little more walking than I'd planned, like getting out there in that taller grass. But that's all right. And gets in that stuff, it'll roll. I'm just gonna run down here. Cody's watching that then. I'm gonna run down there. I mean, it ain't even hardly lit down here no more. I sure ain't backing up if it ain't burning. Went out there and tried to light that pile, but I don't know if it's gonna mostly big stuff in there. <clears throat> All right, we're good down here. I think we're having better luck lighting down here where Cody's at. All right, time to do a little riding. Give me a little walking. As it goes out, we'll make sure we get this down the edge of this fine thicket first, kind of backfired, so we ain't got to worry with it. DJ done heard me crank up. See that old likes to ride. Come on. Once we got into this good sage grass, it's going pretty good. Just leaves and stuff where it's slow. Cody, by the time he gets down there about that cedar tree, he's going to be almost at the end. There's a ditch going down through there, and there's a big creek on that side. As long as we don't back up right here, we should be in good shape. It's just going to take a while, I think. If the wind, wind's supposed to lay down even more as the sun sets, and she's going down right there. I think it's still supposed to stay. If it'll stay about five miles an hour, though, just to some, enough to carry it. As it stops back there, we have, we're going to have to walk out in some places and get it back going, but that's all right. All right, we made it to the creek. I don't think this is going to burn much, but we went ahead and lit it to watch it. Not a lot of fuel right here, but I hope it kind of goes on through there. That back there is... I think it's doing really good. We'll let this burn back and then we'll start watching the other a little better. 
and catching them bare spots that didn't catch up. Alright, so I'm regretting not starting an hour so early. Just not, not really getting hot enough. It's doing okay. That's all I can say is okay. We're going to stay after it. Do the best we can with it. If we do the other patches, we'll get them a little earlier. Or maybe plan on a little more night wind. Alright y'all, so our night burn ain't going as planned. Like I said, I should have started about an hour early. Early, it was just, it's not as much fuel on the ground as I thought. So we needed more wind to carry it through that sage grass. We ain't quite done. I'm gonna go around here on this backside. I done walked more on this than we have all them pines we burned. See if we can't get something going a little bit. Alright, y'all see how this sage grass is kind of spotty out here? See they done bathed something. And then them leaves, and the leaves are still a little wet. So it was more of this sage grass. It would go pretty good on some wind. We ain't doing nothing but walking and burning fuel, but I'm going to try for a little bit longer. I'm about ready to eat supper. But... I thought by now we would be done. But we really ain't got a good start yet. See, when we get in some good fuel, it goes good. Just ain't enough of it out here. I thought it was more than that out here, but kind of more worried about getting it too hot on these oak trees, but I don't think that's going to happen tonight. I'll be catching pretty good wind during the day. Come down here and finish it if it goes out and don't keep on. It's pretty fair up through there. Alright, down here towards the end seems to be a little more grass. Might get a little something going here. Maybe. Looks like it anyway, don't it? Wasn't a good burn for Cody today. Kind of too picky. We need to catch one of them good pine tree burnings one day. He likes it. This right here is just agger, aggravating. Kind of got to pay attention where you're trying to burn. A little more than just one of them light it and let her eat days for sure. So I decided to run down here first thing this morning to uh, see how me and Cody's burn did since when we stopped last night. It had done got dark and uh, just kind of look and see. Learned a lot about this burning in this hardwood, this particular spot right here. Needed a little more wind, so we should have started a little earlier because it wasn't as near as much fuel. It looks like a lot of fuel on the ground, but them leaves, they just don't burn like pine straw and stuff like we've been burning in pines. And I kind of wondered about that, but better safe than sorry. But what we burned, I'm gonna turn y'all around real quick, hang on. What did burn did pretty good. <clears throat> Didn't get out there real far. I couldn't even get the 
piles to light. Them piles get hard to light sometimes. They just seem like they get a lot of moisture in them. But the main thing I wanted to do was try to get this thing, or with some deer across the road, uh, try to get this thing where it'd be easier to bush hog. It may take more than more than a time or two to get it get it right. I think the other side would do better. Just wasn't near as much grass as burned around that feeder. Oh, uh, not near as much grass as out there that I thought would burn. But what did do? What did burn? I'm I'm happy with that. And all these little gums and trees are dead from spraying they'll eventually fall over but I wanted to burn I wanted to get all that trash off the ground but we didn't do much you can see it ain't 50 yards out there to where it stopped burning but we're gonna try it again one day with a little better wind and it hadn't been I guess it like the day before maybe two days before can't remember when it rained and them old leaves and all hold a lot more moisture it seems like than the in the, what's in them pine trees we've been burning we've been able to burn right, almost right behind the rain in the uh pines well this right here just didn't do anything We'll get it though. It's a lot. We ain't gonna never let it. I'm gonna do my best not to let it get away like it used to be. I like the way it's doing with the grasses and there's some briars and there's some of that little stuff still trying to burn, but it ain't gonna go nowhere. Just not enough fuel out there yet. I got down here. It was real dark when I got down in here and I thought that right there was fixing to go, but it sure didn't. I bet you another day or two it dries a little more and we get a need I think what I need is about a 10 mile an hour wind and I believe it might go on through there we ain't done with it yet we're just learning with this hardwood stuff main thing I didn't want to kill my soft tooth and we definitely didn't do that all right Leno Rose came down do a little feed and a little looking around. Alright y'all, so the other day that wind got extremely bad. It blowed my feeder over. I'm gonna back the golf cart up here and see if I can kind of winch it back over without tearing it up. Alright, not sure how this is gonna work. I'm getting enough leverage. I might have to get the tractor up here to do this. It's kind of trying to slide me. Move, Rose. I don't know if I got enough brake here. Hmm, that ain't gonna work. I ain't got anywhere up there to hook to. I might have to bring the loader up here one day. Golly, that's aggravating. The winch is plenty stout enough. I just need to be able to, I almost need to be able to loop over something and hook right there. We'll come up with something. Bad gummit. So, turned, blew it over, didn't it? All right, y'all. So, we didn't get a real good burn in the sawtooth oak trees, but I won't, didn't want to burn them up. We'll catch it next time with a little better wind, and I think we'll do better. Let it dry out a little more. Let them leaves catch it where they dried several days where they'll burn. But anyway, me and Rose got a little bit done today, but not just too busy of a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.